Okay, I know, I know. My ratings are shit and you want to scold me some more. Complete opposite. You are a train wreck. And that is equating to the most listeners the station's had since the 90s. So you're telling me that people actually enjoy listening to me embarrass myself. You know that video of the bridge shaking so much that you can't help but like, how's it together? How's it still staying together? Look at that bridge. That's your show. Oh, you mad? You mad, Casey? You getting upset? You getting angry? You get a little salty over there standing there? Yeah. And also, I'm picking your guest again this week because we're going to keep seeing how this goes. We're bringing in a local MMA fighter. Like, I'm a pacifist and you want me to interview a fighter? I, if I knew what that meant, I could give you a reason why I could still say no. So, um, so yeah, uh, go, go, yeah, you're gonna go talk to this guy. Oh. Fucking interview. That's no, okay. All right, you, I, you made your point. Go back to being bad. W wonderful. studio today with me I have um Donnie um Donnie Demant Donnie Demant uh Donnie I understand you you are a fighter and you have an event coming up yeah actually I have a uh, sanction bout coming up tomorrow morning but tonight actually I'm going to be fighting three men at once in an illegal unsanctioned event just outside of town um, these three guys are actually going to have weapons on them and be trying to murder me. Is that, um, is that good to do the night before? Yeah, we... it's actually supposed to squash two beefs, really, um, because one of the guys trying to murder me is, um, one of, well, the only guy that's ever beaten me in a fight. Can you talk um, about that loss? I get so, so enraged just thinking about it. He caught me with my pants down. Literally, I was banging his wife, and he came in, and I tried to do a spinning back kick to the face. Of course, my feet were tied up, so it didn't work out. But I wasn't the only one tied up, was I, Dave? I'm starting up a couple clothing lines. Um... Double D apparel for the women. Yeah, that's right. Uh, our first shirt right now that we're coming out with uh, uh, is still a prototype, but it's got two big old D's right over the tits. The uh, men's clothing line, Loathe Clothing. It's a pretty sweet name. Makes you hate a lot of things. My personal philosophy is that you can't actually fight to the best of your abilities unless you are mad at anything and everything in your general vicinity, not just the opponent in front of you. So you, you feel like you have, to, you have to really hate everything? Like one time, I almost paid a guy to murder my mother before a fight, just because I could not focus. And... How... Did she feel about that? She was totally on board with the idea. She actually suggested it. My mom's my uh, number one fan. Edna Demant, she's a saint. Love you, Mom. So what got you into this um, this profession? I mean, what what happens when you, you punch someone and you decide, hey, I could get someone to pay me to do this? I guess I first realized it around four years old. Uh, I was on the playground in the sandbox, had my shovel. Some punk comes up, takes my shovel, and kicks over what I was building. So I took my shovel and I shoved it right where it freaking belonged. Back in my pail, and I punched him. And, you know, from then on I knew that I was made to dominate other people. What is this? That's, that's Mountain Dew. Well, I mean, it sure as hell is not a protein shake, and water's not green. Well, you see, the, the vending machines, they only have, like, a... This is so unprofessional, I shouldn't know. Can, um, demonstrate on our, our, our intern uh, a move? I would actually love nothing more than to demonstrate 
for you. But um, it's actually already been made illegal because um, I did snap a dude's head clean off. <laughs>